you can use eSIM on your iPhone to connect to a cellular plan from your wireless carrier. We'll show you how to activate your plan while setting up your iPhone using eSIM carrier activation, eSIM quick transfer, and other methods. We'll also show you how to install a plan from settings later after your iPhone is already set up. eSIM is compatible with iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, iPhone XR, or later. You need to have a wireless carrier that supports eSIM, and you might need a Wi-Fi connection too. It's also a good idea to update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS. If your carrier assigns you an eSIM when you purchase your plan, it will activate automatically when you set up your iPhone. Follow the prompts on your screen to begin setup. Next, choose a Wi-Fi network. You might be asked to provide additional information during the setup process. Then, wait for your plan to activate. Keep following the prompts until cellular setup is complete. When you have cellular service, there will be an icon in the upper right corner showing your signal strength. Finish setting up your iPhone and you're ready to go. If an eSIM isn't assigned to you when you purchase your iPhone, you can transfer your phone number from your current iPhone to your new one using eSIM Quick Transfer if your carrier supports it. Make sure your current iPhone is nearby and follow the prompts on your screen to begin setting up your new iPhone. When the Setup Cellular screen appears, tap the line you want to transfer. If there is more than one line, you can choose one to transfer now and you can activate additional lines after your iPhone is set up. Also, if your current iPhone has a physical SIM card, you'll be able to convert it to an eSIM. Then tap Continue and follow the prompts on your current iPhone and your new iPhone until cellular setup is complete. When you finish setting up your iPhone, your old physical SIM card will no longer work and your eSIM will be ready to use. Depending on your carrier, you might have to activate your eSIM using other methods, like scanning a QR code provided by your carrier. Follow the prompts to begin setting up your iPhone. When it's time to activate your eSIM, you can choose Use QR Code and scan the code. Then just follow the prompts until your eSIM activates. You can install a new plan or set up an additional line in settings after your iPhone is set up. You might get a notification from your carrier to activate your plan, or you can open settings. From settings, tap cellular, and then tap set up cellular. This button might say add eSIM if you're setting up additional lines. Follow the instructions to activate your eSIM, or you might have to scan a QR code. Once you've completed the steps, your eSIM will be active and ready for use. All done! And that's how to activate an eSIM on your iPhone. To learn more about your iPhone, subscribe to the Apple Support YouTube channel or click another video to keep watching. Some sequences in this video were shortened.